Welcome! In this tutorial, we will be creating a simple login, register and login system. And the reason why I did not finish the last tutorial was because the structure I thought of was absolutely terrible at the time. And I also had other projects I had to work on, so I had to put some of those videos on hold. But now, I'm back, and let's do this. And I'm filming all these tutorials beforehand, so I don't get sidetracked either. So now, let's create a new project. And let's name this our login server. And let's create a new database. So let's make a new, um, add a new item data, local database, just name this user db, you can name it whatever you want, just next and finish, now go over to our database in the server explorer, if you don't see this just go up to view and open that, now let's make a new query, and I normally use notepad++ to write my queries, but you can just follow along either in here or in notepad. Create table users and is it the name first and then the type ID int identity I really need to go to sleep. Not null. Username in varchar 30. Not null. Password in varchar 30. Not null. Primary key ID. So with um, Microsoft's SQL database, identity is the same as auto increment. If you've ever seen that in other um, SQL databases such as SQL, Lite, I believe, etc., etc., in varchar is what's in varchar mean? That's that's a Unicode string, password same thing Unicode string, and then primary key is the main. Um, well, key of the database, which will be the auto increment ID, which starts from zero and works its way up um, based on the amount of users that you add. So now that we have our query written for our table creation, just paste it in here. Make sure I didn't screw this up. Okay. And ignore. And execute. Query is executed successfully. And here is our table. This is where our. Um, users data will go. And now that we have our database all nice and ready to go, we'll work on our register and login functions.